In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little giraffe. And you're going to need some yellow yarn, brown yarn, safety eyes, fiber fill, and of course your yarn needle and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. For the arms of the giraffe, we're going to begin with the brown yarn and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and we'll be using this hook through the whole project. So you'll start with a magic circle, so wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop, and chain one to secure your yarn. And for round one, we'll begin with six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, oops, five, and six. And now just grab that tail and give it a pull. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're gonna do one increase in each of the stitches. So for your increase, you'll go into the stitch, do one single crochet, go back into that same stitch and do another single crochet. That is your increase. And so now you'll just continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For rounds three through six, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round six, you should still have 12 stitches. Before beginning round seven, make sure you take a moment to weave in that beginning tail. Turn your work right side out again. And we're also going to be changing colors. So I've got one last stitch from round six. I'm going to go into that stitch, bring up the loop, grab the yellow yarn and pull it through the two loops that are on your hook. And then we can move that stitch marker over and you're ready to begin round seven. So I'm gonna hold that brown tail and the yellow tail down. And for round seven, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one decrease. So here's one single crochet, followed by one decrease. And to do the decrease, you'll go into the stitch, bring up your loop, Go to the next stitch, bring up the loop, grab the yarn, and pull through all three loops. And that is your decrease. And so you'll just continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. And one single crochet and one decrease. one single crochet and one decrease. And that'll bring you to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have eight stitches. For rounds eight through 18, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 18, you should still have eight stitches. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're adding stuffing as you go. And you can also take a moment to weave in those tails that you got when you changed colors. And here I've come to the end of round 18. I've added my stuffing. And we're just going to remove that stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. 
And when you cut your yarn, leave a little bit of a tail just in case you end up with gaps when you add these to the arms. And there you go. You're going to need to make two of these. For the feet and legs, we'll begin with the brown yarn, and you'll start by making a magic circle. And chain one to secure your yarn. And now for round one, you'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then grab that little tail and give it a pull. And you can place your stitch marker, and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch. So go into that first stitch, do one single crochet, back into the same stitch for another single crochet. That is your increase. And now you're just going to continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And at this, at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round three, you'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one and then an increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 18 stitches. For round four, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase. So there's one, two, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, you're going to do a repeating sequence of five single crochet and one increase. So here's one, two, three, four, five, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 28 stitches. Before you begin round six, now's a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. And for round six, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 28 stitches. For round seven, you're going to begin with eight single crochet. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to do six decreases. And for your decrease, you'll go into the stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. So there's one decrease, two, three, four, five, six. And now you'll do eight single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and that brings you to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 22 stitches. For round eight, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 22 stitches. For round nine, we're going to begin with two single crochet. And then for the remainder of the round, you're going to repeat one decrease and three single crochet. So one decrease and then one, two, three. And you'll continue to repeat one decrease and three single crochet until you get to the end of the round. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round 10, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 10 and we're going to switch over to our yellow yarn. So in this final stitch of round 10, I'm gonna go into the stitch, bring up the loop. I'm gonna move that stitch marker out of my way and grab the yellow yarn, pull it through both loops on the hook and then pull that brown down and we can hold the yellow tail as well. And then grab your stitch marker and you're ready for the next round. For round 11 and 12, using the yellow yarn, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've come to the end of round 12, you should still have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 12. I cut off the brown yarn and you'll need to weave those in before you continue. Now you'll be making two of these legs. For the first one, you're gonna remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And then don't forget to add some stuffing. And for this second one, You'll just move your stitch marker to where you did that final stitch of round 12. And we'll be continuing on with this yarn on this foot to begin making the body and the head. For the head and body, we'll continue using the yellow yarn that is attached to the second foot that we made and I'll place my stitch marker and we're ready to go. So for round one of the head and body, we're going to begin with five single crochet on this first leg. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and now we'll chain three, one, two, three, grab the first leg you made, we're going to count back four stitches from the last stitch of this leg, so one, two, three, four, and that is where you're going to place your hook, and on this leg, you're going to do 18 single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That brings us all the way around and now we're lined up with this chain that we did. And you're gonna do three single crochet going across the chain. There's one, two, three. And now you'll do 18 single crochet going around this leg. I'm going to remove that stitch marker because we're going to be moving it to a new placement. So 18 single crochet on this leg. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now you're gonna do three single crochet going across that chain. Here's one, two, and three. And now you'll place your stitch marker here, and this will be the new beginning of each round continuing on from this point. And you should have a total of 42 stitches. For rounds two and three, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So you'll be going all the way around the leg, across this part in the middle, around the next leg, back across, all the way back to your stitch marker. And when you come to the end of round three, you should still have 42 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round three. I've placed my stitch marker to hold the loop of that final stitch so I don't lose my stitching. I'm going to take a moment to sew up the little gaps that happened when I put the two legs together. So using the tail that we cut for the first leg, I'm just going to thread my yarn needle and run it through some stitches over to the center of the legs. And I'm going to poke it through so I can see what I'm doing on the outside. And you may notice that some of these stitches where you went across the chain here, they might be a little too loose for your liking. And so you just take your yarn needle and go through a couple of those stitches and just close those up. So I'll just go through a couple of them, bring those in a little tighter. And just working across the leg here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna poke my needle back through to the inside and Tie a knot so it stays secure. A 
And then you can just cut off the excess yarn and tuck that tail down into one of the legs. And the stuffing will hold that in place. Oops. And now we're ready to move on. For round four, you're going to do a repeating sequence of 13 single crochet and one increase. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one increase. And you'll continue to repeat 13 single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 45 stitches. For rounds five through 13, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of round 13, you should still have 45 stitches. For round 14, you're going to do a repeating sequence of 13 single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat thirteen single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 42 stitches. For round 15, you're going to do a repeating sequence of five single crochet and one decrease. And here's one, two, three, four, five, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 36 stitches. For round 16, we're going to begin with two single crochet. There's one, two. Now you'll do one decrease. Next, you will need to do a repeating sequence of four single crochet and one decrease, and you're gonna do that five times. So here's one, two, three, four, decrease, and repeat. One, two, three, four, decrease, one, two, three, four, decrease, one, two, three, four, decrease, one, two, three, four, decrease. 
So once you've done that five times, that will leave you with two more stitches. And so now we'll just do one single crochet in each of those last two stitches. And that brings us to the end of this round and you should have 30 stitches. Before you begin round 17, now is a good time to start adding your stuffing. Make sure you get it down into the legs and you want it just enough to hold the shape, but not so much that you're stretching out the stitches. And for round 17, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 30 stitches. For round 18, we're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, three, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For round 19, we're going to be attaching the arms. So you want to make sure you've got those close at hand. And we'll begin with eight single crochet on the body. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you're going to grab one of the arms and put your hook into any of the stitches. And you're going to do eight single crochet working around the arm. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're going to do 12 single crochet going across the body. So we'll come down to this first unused stitch here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we'll grab the other arm insert your hook into any of the stitches and do eight single crochet going around the arm. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now that should leave us with four single crochet to finish off the round. And there's one, two, three, four. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have a total of 40 stitches.
counting around the body, around the arms, around the body, around the arms. So all total should be 40 stitches. For round 20, we're going to begin with six single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do two decreases. So here's one decrease and two. Next, we'll do four single crochet. There's one, two, three, four. And now we'll do two decreases. There's one and two. Next, you'll do eight single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you'll do two decreases. There's one. And two. Next is four single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and now you'll do two decreases. So here's one and two, and then you'll do two single crochet. One and a two. And that brings you to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have a total of 32 stitches. For round 21, you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, decrease. And so you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease, and you should end up with a total of 24 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 21, and before I go any further, I'm gonna take those tails that I left on the arms, and I'm going to stitch up these gaps that happened when I attached the arms. So I'm gonna poke it through to the outside so I can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to take my yarn needle and run it under and through a few of these stitches just so I can close up this little gap that happened when I put my arms on. We'll just go through the stitches and pull those closed. I think one more ought to do it. And that just closes up that little gap. And we'll take the yarn back through to the inside and just run it under a stitch. And before pulling it all the way through, stick your needle through that loop so you can tie a knot. And then you can cut off the excess yarn and 
tuck it in. That'll get mixed in with the stuffing. And this is also a good time to go ahead and finish adding more stuffing and finish adding the stuffing to the arms. For rounds 22 through 29, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 29, you should still have 24 stitches. For round 30, we're going to do a repeating sequence of three single crochet followed by one increase. Here's one, two, three, increase. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. For round 31, your repeating sequence will be four single crochet and one increase. So there's one, two, three, and four, and then one increase. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. For round 32, you'll begin with two single crochet. There's one, two. Now you'll do one increase. Next, you will need to do a repeating sequence of five single crochet and one increase, and you're going to repeat that five times. So here's one, two, three, four, five, increase. And repeat. There's one, two, three, four, five, increase. One, two, three, four, five. Five, increase, and one, two, three, four, five, increase, and then one more time. One, two, three, four, five, increase. And then now we'll do three single crochet. One, a two, three. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 42 stitches. For round 33, you'll do a repeating sequence of six single crochet and one increase. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For rounds 34 through 42, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. 
And when you come to the end of round 42, you should still have 48 stitches. And you also want to make sure you finish stuffing the body and we can do the neck and the head later on as we continue working the rounds. And here I've come to the end of round 42. Before going any further, we're going to attach the safety eyes. And so we're going to place them between rounds 40 and 41. So this was round 42. Here's 41. And we're gonna put them Make sure you've got it facing towards the front. You can see the front where the feet kind of stick out. And have about six stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll place this one right here. Do a quick check, make sure they look about even. And then we'll take the backing of the safety eye and a pop it onto the post. And this is just a stylus. I took the rubber tip off of it and it works really good for popping that backing onto that safety eye. So you just set it on there and push it down. And you just make sure you've got them all the way down and your safety eyes are attached. For round 43, you'll be doing a repeating sequence of six single crochet and one decrease. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, decrease and you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one decrease and at the end of this round you should end up with 42 stitches for round 44 we're going to begin with two single crochet one two followed by one decrease now you'll do a repeating sequence of five single crochet and one decrease and you're going to do that five times. Here's one, two, three, four, five, decrease and repeat. Here's one, Two, three, four, five, decrease, and one, two, three, four, five, decrease this one two three four five decrease one two three four, five, decrease. And that should have been our five times. And now we'll just do three single crochet. Here's one, two, and three. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 36 stitches. For round 45, you're going to do a repeating sequence of four single crochet and one decrease. So 
there's one, two, three, four, decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round 46, we're going to begin with two single crochet. One, two. And now you'll do one decrease. And next we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one decrease. And you're going to do that five times. So one, two, three, decrease. One, two, three, decrease. And one, two, three, decrease. One, two, three, decrease. And it looks like one more time. So one, two, three, decrease. And once you've done that, you'll have one single crochet. And that brings you to the end of this round. At this point, you should have 24 stitches. And it is now a really good time to go ahead and finish stuffing the neck and most of the head. For round 47, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round 48, you're just going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. And when you've come to the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. Before you begin round 49, make sure you finish adding the stuffing to the head. And now we'll just remove that stitch marker. And I've already started, but for this round, all you're going to do is continually decrease until we get that hole closed. So you'll just keep decreasing around and around until you reach a point where it is difficult to get the hook in for a decrease which I have reached that point now. And so now I'm just gonna take my hook, go straight across the hole and do a slip stitch. And then go under this last stitch here and do one final slip stitch and tie off. And now we'll cut the yarn, grab the yarn needle and weave in this tail. So the way I close these up, I end up with this little bump at the top. And so to flatten that out, just take my yarn needle, go under one of the other stitches and through one of the stitches in the part we closed up. And that will help to flatten that out. 
and then just go under a stitch and before pulling it all the way through take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull nice and tight that'll make your knot and then we'll just take the yarn needle poke it through the head pull all the way through and then we can cut off the excess yarn and that hides the tail inside the head and there we go there is our head and body and feet and legs and arms for the muzzle we'll be using the yellow yarn and continuing with the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook We'll start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, bring up your loop, chain one to secure your yarn. And for round one, we're gonna do six single crochet into that magic circle. Two, three, four, five, six. And grab that tail and give it a pull. And then you can place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So you'll put two single crochet into each stitch to make your increases. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, you'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. And now you'll just continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase. So one, two, increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For rounds five through eight, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round eight, you should still have 24 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round eight. I've removed the stitch marker, and now we'll just slip stitch into this next stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail to sew this onto the head. And then don't forget to weave in that beginning tail. Once you're ready to attach the muzzle, you'll add some stuffing. And we're going to place it just below the eyes and thread the yarn needle. And now you'll just go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle. And then under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle. Under a stitch in the head, up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you'll continue to do this until you have worked your way all the way around and you get back to where you started. And here I've come all the way back around to where I started. And I've done my final stitch and now I'm just gonna go into the head under a few stitches and then go under one final stitch in the head and before pulling it all the way through, take the yarn needle through that loop and then pull nice and tight to make your knot and then hide the tail inside the head. Just pull it all the way through 
and then clip off the excess yarn. And now the muzzle is reattached. And you can use your yarn needle to bring it back out to the shape it needs to be. So there we go, there is the muzzle. For the nostrils and the mouth, we'll be using the brown yarn. We're gonna put a slip knot on one side and thread the yarn needle with the other end. And then we're going to begin with the first nostril. So just go under a stitch. And when you get to that slip knot, pull it nice and tight and pull your yarn through and bring that down nice and tight. And we'll weave in that tail later after we're done. And I'm going to go through that stitch one more time and before pulling it all the way through, go through that loop and then pull nice and tight. And now we'll just go back through the stitch we came out of and bring the needle down to where we want the mouth to be. And then go back through the, the hole that we came out of, go under the stitch and before pulling it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and pull it tight. And we're just gonna follow this line of stitching for the mouth. So back through the hole we came out of, under the stitch, out the next hole, needle through the loop and pull. And back through the hole we came out of, and through the loop and pull. And we'll just continue doing that until the mouth is the size you're looking for, which I think that's about right. So now I'm gonna go back through the hole I came out of and move up to where I want the other nostril to be. And then go through another stitch and under, back through the hole we came out of. Go through that loop. And I'm actually going to do that two times. Through the loop and pull nice and tight for the knot. And then we'll just go back through one of the holes and hide that tail inside the head. And then we'll come over here and hide this tail. Go through one of the holes, out through the head. And then just take your scissors and snip off the excess yarn. And then those tails will be hidden inside the head. And you can just take your yarn needle to poke the nostrils out a little bit so they're visible. And there we go. We've got our nostrils and our mouth. For the ears, we'll be using the yellow yarn. And we'll begin with a magic circle chain one to secure your yarn and into this magic circle we're going to do six single crochet so there's one two three four five and six and now you'll grab that tail give it a pull and place your stitch marker and at this point you should have six stitches 
for round two, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet and one increase. And one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have nine stitches. For round three, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase. There's one, two, increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round four, you'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one increase. So there's one, two, three, increase. And you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 15 stitches. For round five, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should still have 15 stitches. And it will also be a really good time to go ahead and weave in that beginning tail. For round six, we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, three, and decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, into the next stitch, bring up the loop, and pull through all three loops. And that is your decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round seven, you'll do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one decrease. So there's one, two, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have nine stitches. For round eight, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should still have nine stitches. And here I've come to the end of round nine. I'm going to remove that stitch marker. And now you're going to take the ear and fold it flat. Take your hook and go through the stitches on both sides and do a single crochet. And you're going to continue to do that all the way across, making sure you go through the stitches on both sides, keeping those stitches lined up so you stay even. And when you come to the end, you're just gonna slip stitch and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, Make sure you leave a long enough tail so you can sew it onto the head and you will need to make two of these. Once you have both of the ears finished, you'll be ready to attach them. So thread your yarn needle and I've already got one attached and we're putting it just slightly behind the center point of the top of the head and so just make sure you've got them even and lined up. And you can hold that in place. And you'll just go under a stitch in the head and then up through a stitch in the ear and pull through. Under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the ear. And you'll just continue to do this until you've got the ear attached. 
And my yarn came out of the needle. Couple more stitches here. So under a stitch in the head, up through a stitch in the ear. And do a quick check to make sure you're even. And then we'll go under a stitch in the head, pull nice and tight, and go back under that stitch. And before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull tight. And then you can run the needle through the head and hide that tail. Do one last check before I cut the yarn. And snip off that excess yarn. And now we have attached the ears. For the Ossicones, I believe is how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, please no comments. Um, we're going to use, starting with brown yarn, and we'll do a magic circle, and chain one to secure your yarn, and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. It's two, three, four, five, six. And now you'll grab that tail, give it a pull, and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds three and four, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round four, you should still have 12 stitches. Here I've come to the end of round four, and we're gonna switch to the yellow yarn. So in this final stitch of round four, we're gonna go in, bring up the loop, hold that tail down, grab the yellow, and pull it through the two loops that are on the hook, and then just move that stitch marker over and we're ready to move on to the next round. For round five, using our yellow yarn, we're going to decrease all the way around so you're going to be doing six decreases. So there's one. Two. And three. Four, five, and six. So there's our six decreases. And that brings us to the end of the round and you should now have six stitches. And you can also go ahead and cut the brown yarn. And weave in those tails. For rounds six through nine, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round nine, you should still have six stitches. And here I've come to the end of round nine. We're gonna remove that stitch marker and then slip stitch into this next stitch and tie off. Cut a long enough tail for sewing it onto the head. And don't forget to add some stuffing 
so it can hold its shape. And you will need to make two of these. Once you have two made, you'll be ready to attach them to the head. And so you'll thread your yarn needle and we're going to place them a little bit forward from where the ears are and kind of centered. And so just figure out where you want them and then you'll go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch like that and repeat. So through the stitch in the head, up through one of these stitches and you'll just continue to go around until you get back to where you started. And here I've come back to where I started. I've done my final stitch. So pull that down nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna go under one of the stitches in the head to tie off. Before you pull it all the way through, take your needle through that loop and then pull it nice and tight. And then just poke the needle through the head and cut off the excess yarn. And that hides the tail. And there we go, they are attached. For the spots, you'll be doing two sizes. They'll both be done with the brown yarn. And for the smaller one, you're just going to do a magic circle with six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And grab the tail, give it a pull. And then you'll just slip stitch into that first stitch that you did. And tie off. And that is for the smaller size. For the larger spot, You'll start with your magic circle with six single crochet, and that'll be round one. And then for round two, you're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So one increase in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. So just continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And then for round three of the larger spots, you'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of the round. And so now you'll remove your stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch. Tie off and cut your yarn. Don't forget to weave in those beginning tails on both sizes of spots. And for the small spot, you'll need to do about 16. And for this size, you'll need to do about six. Once you have finished making 16 of the smaller spots and six of the larger ones, you're going to just kind of randomly place them on the body. And to attach them, you'll just thread your yarn needle Go under a stitch in the head or body or wherever you're putting it and then up through a stitch in the spot. Go down through the next stitch of the spot and under a stitch in the giraffe. And you'll just continue to do this until you've worked your way all the way around and it's the same process with both sizes. And you don't have to worry about making sure they're going on perfectly round because 
the spots on a giraffe aren't actually round. So just under a stitch in the giraffe and up through a stitch in the spot. And once you've come all the way around, you can go under one of the stitches and before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle through the loop and pull nice and tight. And then just hide that tail inside the giraffe and snip off the excess yarn. And so there we go. We've got a bunch of the spots on the back of the giraffe. For the tail, we're going to cut three strips of yarn, nice and long. And we're going to put it in the tail area of the giraffe, which I happen to put one of the spots there. So we'll pull those three under one of the stitches. And then you'll break it up into groups of two. So three groups of two. And then just do a regular braid over, under, over, under. Let's do a simple braid. And then just tie a knot so it doesn't come unraveled. There we go. And Right there looks about good to me. And then you can just take your scissors and snip off the extra yarn that you don't need. And there is the tail. For the mane, you'll cut a bunch of strips of yarn. And I'm talking a lot. And we're gonna take them two at a time Fold them in half, put the folded end through your yarn needle. Don't pull it all the way through. And then I'm just gonna pick a random spot to show you, but you'll start the main up here and work all the way down the back of the head and neck. So to attach these, you'll go under a stitch don't pull it all the way through. And then you'll grab the loops that you just created, grab the ends and pull through that loop and then pull nice and tight. And so you'll just continue to repeat that process, working in groups of two strands of yarn at a time and just fill in all the way down the back of the head and the neck. And then when you're done, you can trim these pieces to the length that you would like. And here you can see I've got all the little bits attached for the mane. And I trimmed down the yarn a little bit. And there we go. This little giraffe is all finished.